Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we obtained the Boo Radar and captured a whopping six boos. I'm trying to like do some kind of cool effect, like it looks like I'm pointing down though, but it's just not working out with the perspective of this game. Anyway, in this episode, returning to Area 2, let's go ahead and check our map really quick. And just as Egad said in the last episode, we should go to the washroom to, well, wash up. Notice there's a candelabra. I don't know why. I like saying that word. It's like candelabra, candelabra, candelabra. I don't know why. I just, I like saying that. I don't know why. It just, it's fun to say just really fast. But anyway, we have the washroom here that was not open before. Let's see here. What do we got? We got a heart. Okay. Here we can grab the toilet paper and, oh, key. Unintentional key get. Okay, fine. I'll take it. And it goes to that place. Let's talk to Toad. Yeah, stop blubbering. I draw something really important into the toilet. I didn't mean to. That was some bad voice cracks. Don't worry about it. I already got it back. You mean, wait. God, thank God I have gloves on. Hey, you're right. No points crying over spilt milk. I suppose I should just flush that old worry away. Ugh. Yep, I'll just let that swirl on down the depths and let happiness refill my life. You're starting to sound like Nintendo Capri Sun. Okay, anyway. Uh, is there anything in that cabinet? Indeed there is! Good thing I checked. Okay. Um, first off, I wanted to apologize. Uh, I hope my voice doesn't sound too different, okay? Uh, I've basically, I was in Los Angeles for E3 like a week and a half ago, and I was, I actually got sick from that though, and I have been showing just pre-recorded videos since before, you know, I left on that trip all this time, though, and this is my first video recording. That I feel completely better, but some people have said my voice and stuff. Other people say they can't tell any difference at all, though, but I thought I'd just bring that out there. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit different, though, but usually it takes my voice, like, two, three, four weeks after I'm done being sick to get better, and it's been, like, a week and a half. Anyway, going in here, we have... The fortune teller's room. Okay, now about her character design, she's supposed to like be wearing like a scarf on uh, her face, like that has an eye on it. I never saw that when I was a kid. I thought that was like her lips, and then like the eye in the middle was like two of her teeth with a gap in the middle. So I thought she was always like with like big old huge lips. What do you seek of me? Who are you? I am Madame Clairvoyant. Seriously, seer of drop items. Possessions of other people awaken vibrations in my spirit. If you find someone's dropped items, you should bring them to me. I will show you the extent of my vision. Madame Clairvoya, I have to say, as sad as and unfortunate as her name is, she is awesome. Tell me the future! I feel no spiritual vibrations right now. So we need to go find dropped items. And we need to bring them to her so that she can tell us things about those dropped items. Uh, I know where one of these items is, and it's actually accessible to us right now, though. But before we do that, I'm going to go in here. Anything in there? A heart. Okay, another heart that we don't even need. And in this room, the mirror room, you can only see the ghosts in the mirror. So as you can see... Yeah! I love making that A lot of you guys were saying, like, my impression of that was, like, really, like, spot on. Like, to the point where it was almost scary. So... I don't know why, I just, I have fun doing that too, so I guess it works out. Oh! Hey! Okay, never mind, at least I got my coins back. Give me my heart! Whatever. Yeah! Pixelated rug! Let's do it! Give me my friggin' heart. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh wait, two of them? Wow, that was, that was great. Really great. Alright, so... Um, okay, come, can I actually, there we go, all right, go, and go, very, very good, and there we go, very good, There's still more, are you kidding me, and, two for the press of one, Grandma, come on, let's do it, let's do it, do it, do it, yeah, love doing that, okay, see what's in here let it be by the way uh, that mirror right there the effect looks kind of nice like they're actually reflecting the room uh, like you know rendering everything twice like games nowadays do they're not go in first person view you can see that it's just a flat image and they basically just have a thing that generates uh, a sprite to place there based on what's going on in the environment 
I know, it's kind of cheap. But, um, Boo Radar is reacting because we've turned the lights on, though, so now Boo's hiding in here. And here we go! We now have gotten a completely new item. Nothing we've encountered before. This is the Fire Elemental Metal. Now, Luigi, what do you found there? Let's take a- OH MY GOD, IT'S A FLOATING WISP! Or, not, it's just his hair. Oh, uh, it's a fire element metal. Now you can use the fire element. So now we can get fire ghosts. They show up whenever you see fire, my boy. They're ghosts the a fire itself, if you will. You approach flame, they'll be surprised by your presence, and leap out into the air, and then you vacuum them up right away. After that, you can expel fire with the L button. You can melt ice, light candles, and do all kinds of stuff. Alright, so we have to solve some puzzles with this. Whenever we see candles, obviously, in true Zelda fashion, we gotta light them up. So, there we go. There's our first example of fire. Uh, these things of fire will never burn out, so you can just get an infinite amount of fire goes from them. And as you can see, we have a meter down there. If we just tap... If we just tap L, pressing it all the way down, you do a huge surge of fire at the beginning, which uses up a whole unit. Otherwise, if you do not press it all the way down, you just do a constant stream. Uh, this little meter down there in the corner uh, that shows the fire... That was originally going to be something else in this game. Uh, that was originally actually going to be a heat meter. Originally in this game, you were going to have a limit on how much you could use your vacuum, and eventually it would overheat, and if it did, Luigi would burst into flames and lose about half of his HP. I am really glad they changed that, though, because that would have gotten very annoying. So, come on. There we go! I like how shiny his teeth get as soon as he picks up metal. It's like they're reacting or something. Okay. So, uh, actually, I was wrong. The area where the uh, dropped item is it was not accessible to us at the time. Uh, but we'll be going there next. But first, so much for going there next, if I'm already saying the first. Okay, good. We want to go over here, and we want to light the candelabra. Oh, I got hit in the cutscene. That's not fair game. Get it? It's not fair game. Okay. That's just suck all these stupid things up. Now, I like this guy. He's got, like, the same voice as the uh, mini blends in, like, Wind Waker. He's like, Nanai! 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 Uh, this is Shivers the Butler, by the way, if you want to know his name. Uh, he... Well, we're about to experience something pretty darn funny about him. Let's go over here. Open the door. Go on through. I want to go through here, too. <laughs> And wait for him to sit down. I like how this is the butler's room and it's this much of a dump. Okay. And he sits down. And then... Yeah! Time to suck the butler! What? That sounded really weird. Like, a lot weirder than it did in my head. Then again, this game tends to do that a lot. And there we go! One suction! I am a master at sucking butlers. <laughs> okay. Let's hit this. And just hard. Okay. I think there's money in that light up there. No, there's not. Okay. This. Key! Shiny teeth. My shiny teeth and key. Like that next room that it's going to, though, but uh, we're going to be checking that out in a minute. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't think I got the boo in the other room, actually. I might have to cut back to that, though. Well, we have to go back in that direction anyway to do what we got to do next, though, so not that big of a deal. Okay, come on. Yeah, we got peekaboo. More like Pikachu. You know what? I, I don't care what you guys say. If they can make bad puns with the booze, so can I. And so I will, okay? And as you can see here, booze can actually go through walls into other rooms. I know, cheap. You're kidding me! Okay, let me bring up my map. Look at that. It went up into that room that I can't even go into yet. So I'm screwed out of getting that boo for a while. Wonderfully does it. Way to go, Emil. Way to go. Because that door right there is a fake. I think. Yes, it is. Money! Okay, at least money can make it all better. It's okay, money. You're my saving grace in all this. Not the fact that I know that I'm helping my brother. It's money. Alright, come on. Alright. Pink puncher slash purple puncher. Can't decide an official name! Oh, wow, I still got it! Oh, wow! He didn't even hurt me! Damn! That was 
was a lucky run of that. Okay, so what is this going to yield? Uh, first thing we want to do before anything else, though, is check this washing machine, and out pops. Look familiar? We found Mario's hat, and it's been laundered recently. Mario! Wow. Whoa! I forgot that was going to have money in it. Sometimes chests will not have keys in them. As you can see there, they can have treasure as well. Uh... And we got a boo ball. What the? I was sucking the ball and sucking the sheet at the same time. What the hell? I'm boogie. No, you are not going through there. Yes! Okay, good. You did not go through the same place. Good. But then Luigi, send me the boo and the data you got. Good. Okay. Luigi's face is still freaking creepy. Okay. Now, I'm a bit all over the place in this video, so I kind of apologize, though. But before we leave the butler's room area... Is there another boo in here, or is it just another object to trick you to make you think there's a boo? It was the latter of the two that I'm too lazy to repeat. Go away, boo ball. Okay. What we want to do is, in this room, go into first person view with X. Check this mouse hole. And go on through. Now, in here, I believe there is a speedy spirit. Uh, we want to take out these uh, guys first, just so we can get the speedy spirit. Luckily, we just saved, so we're good. I believe it's in this chest as the speedy spirit. Let's do it. Or not. Fine, make a wire out of me, game. Uh, the Speedy Spirit is indeed in that chest, but not until later in the game. Uh, here! Hey, buddy! Ah, jeez. That was an example of an ice ghost. Sometimes ghosts have elements instead. Uh, now... Jeez, okay. Can I play any worse this video? I mean, jeez, okay. Uh, something I should explain about using the elements to fight enemies. Sometimes it's the only way to hurt them if they're an ice ghost like that, though. because uh, spraying them with a fire will cause them to show their heart. Of course, normally their heart is frozen and you can't exit. If you were to use any element to kill a speedy spirit or a golden mouse, it will not yield any treasure. You must use your vacuum to defeat those ghosts. So, as much as you might th feel like, oh yeah, I can be cheap, I can just, you know, kill it with this. No, you can't. You have to use... Uh, your vacuum. Not like it's tough to do. There we go. Okay, good. Give me that. More money! Okay, at least I'm making up for all the money that I'm losing. And last chest. Of course. There we go. No! No! There we don't go. Oh! You're kidding! Oh, come on! I'll be right back. Oh, you punched me while I was in first person view! Can I? Okay, this is getting annoying. Wait, wait, just a minute. Hold on, I think I know what's on here. I can actually still get him, though, because I at least sprayed him with fire one time. Thank God. Thank God. Okay! That was way more painful and way more difficult than it needed to be, and it is not nearly as difficult as I made it seem like. Holy crap, man. This room had good treasure. I mean, I knew it was going to, though, because it's a hidden room, though, but jeez. A ruby, a sapphire, and an emerald. And great, the coins are disappearing. Okay. I didn't get all the money, though, but hey, whatever. Uh, where? Right here? Ba bomb. Dang it. Uh, where is there a boo? Gumboo! It's okay, Emil. It's okay. We had to go out that way anyway. I'll see you guys in just a moment when we go back to where that boo is. Okay, so we go out into the hall. Come on, let's... Really, really don't want to suck this pad in this game. Are you... I think you went in there, which is another room I don't think I can open yet. God, I nothing is going my way in this episode, and it sucks because I'm not even. Oh wait, there, here he is, here he is, here he is! Oh my God! Go, 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 go! Get him, 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 get him! Love of God! Is he in here? He is. Wow, that mirror effect looks really, really bad. Like especially so. Okay, finally! Jeez, could I suck any worse in this video? <laughs> Alright, so... 
after this really embarrassing run, uh, we have just a couple more things that I'd like to do. We want to catch the boo in this room, or fail trying, like we have been. Okay, come on. Kung Boo! One letter away from King Boo, I guess. Uh, oh, don't we need to do that. Um. Hey, buddy. You and me. Addy Boo. Come on. Would you... God, if I'm having this much trouble with boos this early in the game, I'm gonna really hate later in the game when we're dealing with boos that have HP in the hundreds. Like, that's just gonna be like, holy crap. Finally! Jeez, okay. I am really, really gonna try to not play this badly in the later videos, though, because I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm just having a really, really crappy run in this video. Um, I want to check something, though, here really, really quick. If that boot brought us all the way over to this other end of the house. And wouldn't you know it, lighting those candles did absolutely nothing, though, so I came into this room for nothing. Let's just go back. We have to go to Madame Claire Voya's room. Unfortunately, that boo dragged us all the way back over here, though. Okay, Madame Claire Voya, let's talk to you. With our item. I'm just gonna show, please. Madame Claire Voya, what is this? If it isn't Mario's hat, why it's so clean as if someone just washed it! <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I like to add a little drama, you know. I love Madame Claire Voya. Did I just say Mario? Could it be that Mario? I see now. Well, I see everything. So I saw it before, but now I really see it. So you are the brother of the famous Mario, and you have come to this place to find him. Well, aren't you a good little brother? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't laugh much. Oh, they come, the spirits. Come, come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can! Show us all you can! Show us this Mario! The light of the spirits comes, show us what we seek. Nice special effects, lady. I see that your Mario lives, but he is not in the spirit world, but one could say he's, cannot say he is alive. Where is he? Where is he now? Ah, the spirits fall silent. Uh, this is all I can tell you for now. Bring me another clue, and I will show your brother to you. This clue no longer speaks to us. You're being so lazy with your powers that I should cuss. Ah, that's the best rhyme I can think of. Anyway, though, I guess now that we're done with that, uh, we should end this video off here because we got a pretty good amount of progress done, even though we had some really bad failures. So, yeah, I guess we're ending this off here. Next time on Luigi's Mansion, we are going to set out in search of more clues to hopefully find our brother, okay? See you guys then.